Hey, 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 thank you for joining me on the Real Women Don't Bitch podcast. This is your proud host, August Crenshaw, a.k.a. Mrs. Raw, Real and Relentless. I am the number one advanced mental conditioning specialist for entrepreneurs because building mental muscle is necessary in order to implement successful business strategies. This show has been created for the woman who is not excuse driven and needs help building a profitable business. I will be interviewing women from various fields who are willing to break the silence on struggles that specifically affect female entrepreneurs. Welcome to a show where I and guest speakers from time to time share our methods that help us beast our business no matter what is going on in our lives. Whether you are an online or brick and mortar business owner, this show is for you. We will hit every angle, personal, professional, and spiritual. Why? Because on any given day, you get hit with shit from a scenario involving one, more, or perhaps all of the above. It all impacts you and your mindset towards your business. I have made it my personal mission to provide a space where we dive deep into the BS we face on a day-to-day basis. Hey, ladies, tell me that this isn't perfect. Okay, so I didn't tell you all I was going to take a week off, but I'm like, you know what? I just needed two seconds to breathe at the end of the year. And for those of you that don't know, my birthday was December 29th, so somewhere in the middle of all of that Christmas, New Year, holiday spirit. I was like, eh, you know what? It's going to be okay. People need to be playing catch up on some of the podcast episodes anyway. And so you all know, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, that's the schedule. And it just so happens that the first day of the new year happens to be on a Wednesday. Well, look at that. So guess what? Happy New Year! You know, I'm not a holiday person, but you have to admit there is something about new. And we're in a new year, we're in a new month, we're in a new decade. And many of you should have already been rolling in from some things in 2019 into 2020. And so 2020 guess what the theme is going to be about all year long? Somewhere wrapped around in there, it's going to be about having 2020 vision, basically about seeing things clearly, seeing things with perfect vision. And don't get all technical with me, you guys. And my husband actually has better than perfect vision. He can read that line (laughs) below the little line. Don't mess up my analogy. Just get the gist. You know, I have to always respond to my sarcastic, uh, petty Betty followers, but I love you all so much. But seriously, seriously, this year has to be different, you guys, because opportunities are passing people by, you know, that, that one moment to be at that one show at that one time, it's, it's, it's gone. And if you didn't have your stuff in order and you weren't ready, you missed that opportunity. And so I'm going to talk to you about this journey and probably be more real and raw than I've ever been. Not because I was ever, you know, slipping, but just the level of growth, you know, that's come throughout my journey and everything that I've done. And so going into 2020, I want you all to look at several things and see if you see them clearly. Now, I don't have an exhaustive list, but I want you to know whether or not you're okay. Are you looking at yourself clearly first and foremost? And have you really owned up, 
you know, to all of your shit? Are you facing, you know, your issues? Because I've spoken to some really, really successful women who have been in business 5, 10, 15, 20 years talking about people in their life that still use them or make them feel bad and how they're so sick of it and they can't stand it and why, you know, do they get keep getting trampled on when all they do is show love? It up, sis. Sorry. But you got to ask yourself why you keep allowing people like that to stay in your life. You have to ask yourself energetically what's going on that you keep attracting that kind of shit. And then you allow yourself to be blind to never be able to read people properly. Because I'm going to be real honest with you. Entrepreneurship is one of the journeys that will definitely heighten your intuition. You may not be, you know, a a prophet or a psychic or something, but you're definitely going to have to to see people more clearly, but you can't see people clearly if you're not seeing yourself clearly. What's your vision? I mean, do you even really know what it is? You know, I talk to people all the time and it's, and it's funny how one minute they're doing this, the next minute they're doing that, or they told me they started off this way and then they stopped. And don't get me wrong. Sometimes we could try different programs or we could launch different courses and so on and so forth. But what's that overall vision for your business? Some of my ladies that have been in my circle for quite some time now, I can say, yep, August has been saying that since day one, she's going to develop a company that does whoop, 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 and whoop. And I can see how that's happening. Like I've always made a comment to my tribe, you know, I'm going places. And I just want to know if you're going with me because the ones that got their shit together, I'm taking them with me. And so when opportunities come and they have come, I've been like, "Mm -mm, you need somebody. Mm -mm, Don't even worry about it, baby. I got somebody for you. I have my own personal live event coming up in September. I ain't looking for nobody else. Mm -mm, Hold up. Hey, baby girl, you ready to be featured? Because this program that I'm doing, this live event is off the hook. And here you come. Let's do this together. And so ask yourself, do you really have a vision? Or do you just kind of have an idea about what you can do to kind of sort of hustle and make some money? Can you still listen to this podcast? Absolutely. But this podcast was not created for the person that's trying to find a little bit of money, money here and there. This podcast was created for the woman who has big vision that knows she's supposed to, you know, serve the masses, maybe not necessarily the world, but there's a massive amount of people that she's supposed to serve. Do you have clear sight on the journey? Not meaning that, you know, every single pothole that's going to come, but do you see it really clearly? Look, everybody that tells the, 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 the truth about what entrepreneurship should look like is right. And that's their truth. If, are there some people out there who don't work that many hours and make a lot of money? Sure, they are. Sure, there are. But that's not my issue. That's not my point. You know, I look at different things sometimes, not so much as because I'm trying to be a TV fanatic or, fanatic or something like that. But I watch Kevin Hart's um, special on Netflix. Kevin, don't, uh, don't fuck this up. And it's so amazing to see how this man went from doing stand up to now being invested or in some type of, uh, I forgot what it was, but it's basically about getting financial classes to people that, you know, come from lesser privileged areas. Um, he has his um, film, um, Lord have mercy, jumbled up my words, you know what I'm saying? But he has his company now where he's doing, he's producing movies, he's doing TV shows. And when he first started, Started, you know, he had his little plastic cup crew and, you know, all these guys that he came up with. But when some controversy came around him with some things and the Oscar and all of that stuff, you got to see him having meetings and people were like, dang it, is this going to be the end of his business? Because it wouldn't just be over for Kevin Hart. You guys keep looking at Kevin Hart like it's just him. But if Kevin Hart's business were to fall, there are 50 to 60 people who consistently rely on him him you know he's got his publicist his writers and all you know all it's his personal trainers barbers and all of the other people that are into you know the editing the filming the promotion whatever 
I don't have time to try to name all the types of people that work for him. But the point is there are 50 to 60 people whose lives could be ruined if this man is not about his business. And so he's getting up in insane hours to work out. He's constantly on the road moving. This man did 150 cities in a comedy tour. There's some artists out there that ain't did that many cities for their tours. Okay. And so when you're listening to this podcast, you're listening to a woman who resonates with that kind of work ethic, because I have that kind of vision that's bigger than just me running a company and learning how to make multiple six figures or seven, multiple seven figures and, you know, living a comfortable life. I'm going places and I'm doing big things and so are you. And I need you to stop whining, bitching, complaining about how many hours you work, how much it takes because you're paying attention to these people who keep on telling you, if you just have this in place, everything will be easy breezy. And might I add that those people who were selling that shit, They were selling it at a time when it was very easy to capitalize on people's dreams and make money off of their expectations. And I need you to know and understand, sweetie, that now you got to do more work. You got to get out there. Even the people that were that are quote unquote on the top are getting out and talking to people or doing live videos and trying to have more of a hands-on approach. Even if they're using a VA to do it, they're at least trying to make it look like it instead of totally relying on automation because that ship has sailed. See fads and gimmicks, they come and go. But entrepreneurship is a journey that will stand the test of time. And you got to have a work ethic that is going to stand the test of time. So do you have clear vision on what it's going to take in order to get you where you're going? And do you need, do you know what kind of people you're going to need in your corner? Because I have some of the most phenomenal women in my inner circle. And you need to be very, very crystal clear, regardless of how small or big your vision is, that you can't do this by yourself. And so it's not just about the people that you have around you in general, but you need to be really crystal clear on the characteristics of the individuals that get to be called the elite and get to be in your inner circle and looking at people and their different layers. So you can say, you know, inner circle outer circle outermost circle not really even a circle just a bunch of motherfuckers that's surrounding the joint (laughs) you know what I'm saying whatever it is however you want to define it but you need to be very crystal clear on that too and then you need to be very sure about stepping and speaking and living and walking that thing out and so I said this on a Facebook live video the other day If you were waiting until today and you were still trying to write out a plan and know exactly how you were going to execute and what you were going to do, you need more clarity and you need to see more clearly the types of steps and moves that you made in 2019 should have already been spilling into and overflowing into 2020. When I spoke at the table of greatness on December 7th, it was already spoken. I want to come to Atlanta and do a live event while it wasn't planned totally. I know the woman very well. And if she says she's coming to Atlanta and she wants to do an event and she wants me to participate, then I know that that's what it is. My own event, you guys will be hearing me promoting that in another month. That's going down in September. I am speaking in a summit. That was, that was an offer given to me around October of last year. I will be speaking at a live event and actually hosting it on January the 25th. I'm not exactly confident that it's going to go down, but somebody reached out to me about my speaker fees for an event in June. I do know there's another event that I'm very uh, comfortable with that's coming up in April and I could just keep going and going. And I can even tell you that in January, I'm going to promote this. And on February, we're going to take a break and March will be promoting it again. And then the summer, you know, I know what my, 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 my year is mapped out. And it's been mapped out for quite some time now. So the opportunities are tremendous. And I'm looking forward to how those opportunities begin to get me into 2021. Like a lot of you, you want to be in the speaking, you know, you want to, you want to be a speaker, but a lot of the events that you want to apply for, they fill up those slots now. 
Not for this year. You trying to apply for an event in April, they filled that slot no later than October of last year. You know, because this is called forward vision. You know what I'm saying? You have to have faith. You have to know. You have to believe. And so going forward this year for the podcast, I'm going to be talking to you and asking you a lot of questions to make sure you're on your shit and you're speaking crystal clear. So I want you to have crystal clear language because you got 2020 vision. So welcome to a new decade, ladies, and for my fellas that happen to be tuning into the podcast and get ready for the ride of a lifetime because I don't expect anything other than evolution and elevation. All right, because that's what you get when you execute. So thank you guys for tuning in. We are working on year number three for the Real Women Don't Bitch podcast. And guess what, y'all? We ain't going nowhere. All right. So no special offers today. You guys already know you can always reach out to me. You know where to find me if you have any questions. In the meantime, in between time, I'm out. Deuces. Thank you for joining me today. Remember to cultivate a mindset that is biased towards taking action. No bitching, whining, or complaining. Here our mantra is real women don't bitch. We get shit done. See you next week as I continue to bring you what you need to keep your head in the game and beast your business. Don't forget to hit subscribe and leave us a five-star review. Would you like a specific topic covered? Have a question you would like answered live? Then head on over to realwomendon'tbitchpodcast.com. Subscribe to my email list. Hit me up and I got you. Interested in being a guest speaker? You walk the walk? Then you can sign up on the website too. This is your number one advanced mental conditioning specialist for entrepreneurs, Mrs. Raw, Real, and Relentless, signing out. Deuces! Inspire, empower, grab your girls and soar a little higher, unlock the fire in you.